Uh, Judge Sutton had a bo um, b bottom area down below our property, and he would always put corn and watermelons in that bottom to grow in the summer. He always had a crop failure on the watermelons because if we thought there was enough or the possibility of enough, we'd take that watermelon up river from where we were swimming and about four o'clock in the afternoon, we'd go get that watermelon and bring it down and there was a rock there that we'd bust the watermelon on and eat the watermelon. Eat throw, the heart out, yeah. Yeah, throw the rind in the river so the, the man that was the caretaker wouldn't see that someone was eating it. They, they were just vanishing. Well, there's two, two things about that, John. Two, that, that bottom, uh, when I was very small, and they plowed it every year. I'd go down there and pick up pottery, Chick Cherokee Indian. I guess it's Cherokee Indian yeah. pottery. And I remember when I left Clarksville and, and didn't come back for a long time. I had a five-gallon bucket full of that those pieces. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Daddy did with it, but that evidently was a headquarters for some. But anyway, a lot of us did what John's talking about. And I remember Will Lockwood and I and a couple of other people got some watermelons one Sunday afternoon and threw them in the river and jumped in with them and floated way past Pitts Park to somewhere down there, a sandbar, and we busted them and ate the hearts out. That's one of my favorite. But I also remember floating down that river and under a rock log because a lot of trees, you know, fall in the Sequoia River. And uh, we were floating under it and there's a giant snake laying over there. I never will forget that stuck in my mind. But it was a lot of fun. and. We didn't get polio, thank goodness, but we, we enjoyed the river, really did.